Hello there booktube, it's Janet and today I've got a book haul for you. I'm just going to dive into all the books that I've put in this Waterstones bag. I, and I can't actually remember what's in there because I've been saving them up to film this haul so let's just see what's in there. So the first thing I've got to show you is Snap by Belinda Bauer. This is a thriller which I believe that Belinda Bauer is incredibly adept at writing. I think I've got a couple of others of hers on my shelf, at shelves and I've still not read them yet. Um, but it was nearly an hour since the car had coughed and spluttered and jerked and rolled to a crunchy halt on the hard shoulder of the southbound M5 motorway. That made it over half an hour since their mother had left them there to walk to an emergency phone. Stay in the car, I won't be long. And that's all you get. So yes, that sounds very good. And even uh, Val McDermott has given it an endorsement on the front. The best crime novel I've read in a very long time. So if it's good enough for Val, it's good enough for me. Uh, next, I'm continuing on with my completion of buying all books by Holly Bourne. And this one is Soulmates by Holly Bourne. And I know that everybody likes this author. I think she's one I will like too. And so I'm not too, I wasn't too bothered about <laughs> what she was, what, what the books were about. And in fact, the book sells. In fact, these, these books are what I bought when I was on a trip to Newcastle to visit my daughter. And obviously you've got to go into the Waterstones there. And the booksellers in Newcastle were very enthusiastic about Holly Bourne, so much so that I had to buy the ones that they had in. And uh, Soulmates, I think, is one of her earlier books. And it says, Every so often, two people are born who are the perfect match for one another, soulmates. But what if meeting your soulmate is earth-shattering, literally? An epic, electrifying and extraordinary debut novel. So that was her debut novel. Um, I think when I do get around to reading Holly Bourne, I might actually try and read them in release order and just to see, you know, how she progresses with her writing. And next we have more Holly Bourne. And these, again, are what I picked up in uh, Waterstones in Newcastle. And this is And Happy New Year. And this is a Spinster Club special, which I do believe is a series that she's written. And obviously now that I have bought all the Holly Bourne books that are currently out, I have them, I just need to figure out which order they come in and which is which. Maybe this is one of the Spinster Club ones because I've also got What's a Girl Gotta Do? And uh, I love the covers, the bright eye-catching covers on this. I think this is one of the Spinster Clubs because on the back it gives a little bit of a clue of the other books in the series, which I suspect may be lurking somewhere in the bottom of this bag. Well, just to break up the, the Holly Bourne theme of this haul, I've found another book and this is I Was Born For This by Alice Oseman. And this was recommended to me by the bookseller in Newcastle. They put it in my hand and they said, you will love this. Um, yeah, you'll really enjoy it. Um, so that was a good enough recommendation for me. For Angel, life is about one thing, the Ark, a pop rock trio of teenage boys taking the world by storm. Being part of the Ark's fandom has given her everything she loves, her friend Juliet, her dreams, her place in the world. Jimmy owes everything to the Ark, he's their front man and playing in a band with his mates is all he ever dreamed of doing. But dreams don't always turn out the way you think. And when Jimmy and Angel are unexpectedly thrust together, they find out how strange and surprising facing up to reality can be. Now, wasn't that just every teenage girl's dream of, you know, for me, being quite old and crumbly, it was uh, John Taylor, the bass player from Duran Duran. Young people can Google them. Um, so, yes, um, I'm, I'm quite keen to relive maybe my youth reading this one. Uh, it's quite a while since I went to Newcastle and I've been putting these books to one side to haul and it's quite nice to rediscover them. It's a little surprise because some of them I'd actually forgotten that I'd bought and so I've just come across And I Darken by Kirsten White I think this is the first book in a trilogy seen a lot of this about I uh, don't know too much about it but I have seen that it's done a lot of the rounds on booktube and people seem to like it I'm very drawn in by the cover to be honest uh, and so that's good enough for me uh, the next one I've got is the uh, is another Holly Bourne book and this is The Manifesto and How to Be Interesting uh, fantastically bright colour and look it's got red spray edges so yes if you're anything like me anything like that will completely draw you in and in between the title pages it says rule one must be attractive rule two one must make friends with other attractive people rule three one must fall in love with somebody forbidden rule four one must lose all sight of oneself get into a huge emotional mess and break down as a person Rule five, I guess you want to know how it ends. You'll just have to keep reading. So that just sounds great. 
and don't we all think that they are the rules to life when we're young uh, the next one I picked up again which was recommended to me by the bookseller in Newcastle and this is by the author who wrote Moxie which I have still to read and this is the truth about Alice and this is by Jennifer Matthew and the bookseller was saying to me that they could not put this down they found it an absolutely gripping read they had to get through to the end um, and I'm quite grateful for that because I'm not sure it was one I would have picked up myself um, and it just says there were a lot of rumours about Alice Franklin and it stopped mattering whether they're true but after star quarterback Brandon Fitzsimmons dies in a car accident the rumours start to spiral out of control into serious allegations that his death was Alice's fault and now everyone has their own version of what happened and their own opinion about Alice who will you believe? Um, so yeah, they were saying that they, they stayed up all night to finish it off. Uh, it's quite a quick read as well. So I trust the the lovely Newcastle Waterstones booksellers. And next we've got another Holly Bourne book and it's called How Hard Can Love Be? And again, I just love how bright and colourful and eye-catching these books are. And you guessed it, we've got another Holly Bourne and this is Am I Normal Yet? And I think this is the spinster series i think this is the first one i'll look it up I'll, I'll i'll look it up on goodreads and make sure that i read them in the right order and we've got another holly Bourne and it's only ha it only happens in the movies a lovely fabulous bright yellow book i think this might be a standalone actually um and this is when audrey meets harry it's the start of a truly cinematic romance or is it Audrey knows that Harry is every movie cliche rolled into one, but she still chooses to let him into her heart. And then, just completely different from the old Holly Bourne in the bag, I bought Sabriel by Garth Nix. I believe this is quite a vintage series now. I think it's been out quite a long time, but it's one that I sort of had my eye on for a while, so I thought, well, I'll buy the first one in the series just to see what it's like. Unusually for fantasy, it's not too long. Um, if you've watched my channel before, you know I've got a terrible mortal fear of big books. So I thought, well, you know, it's not too big and daunting to dip my toe into the water. Um, and then at least if I don't like it, it's fine. I've not wasted too much reading time. But if I do like it, it's a series maybe I can get along with quite quickly. And it says, Sabriel is the daughter of the mage Abbasson. Ever since she was a tiny child, she has lived outside the wall of the Old Kingdom, far away from the uncontrolled power of free magic and away from the dead who won't stay dead. And that's something that, you know, draws me in straight away. I love um, all tales of death and dying and creepiness. Um, so that's all I need to know. So I'm quite keen to see what this one's all about. So that's it for this book haul. I will see you all soon, BookTube. Keep reading. Bye.